Welcome to this video tutorial where we're going to learn how to draw a snowflake using Python Turtle. This tutorial is based on a blog post and the web address is now appearing on your video clip. Let's scroll down a little bit. Our aim is going to draw this snowflake here using Python Turtle and to do so we're going to use a set of instructions which I have listed here for you. We can, for instance, change the color of the pen we can move forward and specify a number of pixels we want the turtle to move. We, want, we can turn either right or left, and in that case we specify some degrees of the angle we want to turn. We can lift the pen up or lift the pen down, so that it's going to either draw or either going to move without drawing. And then I've got a couple more instructions to go to, which is using X and Y coordinates, and an instruction to draw a circle. Now I'm not going to use the last two in this video clip, but you may want to use it later on to customize your snowflake. So let's look at the code. And the first part of this video, we're going to learn how to draw the first branch of the snowflake. Okay, we've started the code for you, and I'm going to zoom in so that you can see this a bit better. So let's try this code. Now, all it's doing here is that it's drawing the first part of the branch and we can see the code here. First of all we're importing the turtle module and then we're setting up the shape of the turtle, the speed of the turtle, its color which is like a blue type of color here and this is using hexadecimal color codes. Um, then we're setting the turtle to point toward the north so we're turning 90 degrees because to start with it was pointing to the right and then we're doing move forward which is going to bring it 100 pixels up. Okay, now our aim is to bring the turtle down a bit and then we're going to turn left to actually draw part of the branch like this and so on. So where it says add the code here, I'm going to remove that statement, which is an annotation, and I'm going to bring my pen forward, but this time I'm going to backtrack by 40 pixels. Let's try this, see what happens. Here we go, my turtle is now where I want the node of the branch to be. I'm going to turn left my pen dot left by um, let's say 40 degrees. Let's see what happens. Perfect, my turtle is now pointing towards the top left corner. So I'm going to move my pen dot forward 30 pixels. Let's see what happens. Here we go. And I'm now going to bring it back over there, turn into the opposite directions and do exactly the same on the other side. So my pen dot forward, I'm going to go backwards. So I'm going to go minus 30 pixels. And this time I'm going to turn to the right. Um, now this was 40 degrees, but I'm going to turn 80 degrees to actually point toward the top right corner. So I'm going to turn 80 degrees. Let's see what happens here. Perfect, and I can now draw the branch. So my pen dot forward um, 30 pixels, my pen dot forward minus 30 pixels. Let's see what happens. Perfect. Now my aim is to bring the turtle back to here and to start heading in this direction to do the second branch. Okay, so I'm going to turn left by 40 degrees. My pen dot left 40 degrees and then I'm going to backtrack by 60 pixels. My pen dot forward minus 60 and that should be back to the center of the screen. Exactly. I'm now going to turn and start drawing the next branch. Okay, so um, if we look at the snowflake again, we can see that we've got um, six branches and between each branch there will be 60 degrees. So I'm going to turn 60 degrees and then I'm going to copy the code to draw this branch here. Let's do that. So my pen dot right 60 and I'm ready to draw my next branch. Okay, now it's good practice to actually um, annotate our code. So I'm going to annotate this one here 
first branch. Okay. And I'm now ready to do the second branch. So I'm going to put an annotation here, second branch. And what I could do at this stage is I could highlight all of this code here. So I'm going to highlight all of this code. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. And that should make the second branch. Perfect. And I could repeat that six times. And in that case, I will have done a full snowflake. But you can see that my code is going to be quite long. I've already got 40 lines of codes. If I repeat that several times, I'm going to have more than 200 lines of codes. And actually, because we want to repeat exactly the same instructions, there is a better way to do this. So I'm going to delete what I've just done here. I'm going to delete my second branch. And I'm going to look where it says first branch here. Okay, I'm going to remove that comment and I'm going to use a loop, a for loop, to repeat this instruction six times. So I'm going to use for i in range 0 to 6 and then I use a colon. Now the code that belongs to the for loop has to be indented. So I'm going to highlight all of this code here and I'm going to press the tab key to indent this code and you see it's moved to the right. Now that means all of this code here will happen six times. And that's it, that's a snowflake done, that's perfect. So at this stage, um, you need to do exactly the same steps, repeat exactly the same steps, use your loop to repeat um, six times. Once you've done this, your aim is going to customize this snowflake by adding maybe more branches or by changing the coordinates or the, the lengths and the angles we're turning um, and so on. You've got some exemplar of snowflakes at the bottom of this blog post different types of snowflakes that you could try to recreate um, by changing your code. Okay, I hope you found this video tutorial useful. Goodbye for now.